Now, let's make a gun. Okay, thumb on the sixth, eye on the second. Keep these guys back here. There we go. But you're too far behind the string. So we're going to bring you forward. Relax. Now I want you to put your finger right in the point of contact. You know what that is? The POC. I want you to memorize that. Call it the POC. That's the place that you're going to play every time you play. You're going to go there to that point of contact. Okay? It's the little area right in between the flesh and the nail where you're going to start the stroke. All right? You have to have that. I'll show you where mine is right there. You see how oblique the angle is? Okay. So I want you to feel the string. Really deflect it. Now I want you to do a stroke. Follow through. The free stroke. So let's move you again. Put your finger on the string. You see you're in, free, you're in rest row position. I want you to be able to stroke and you can go to the back. There you go. A little higher on the wrist. One more time. Kidding about surgery there, didn't you, Brandon? <laughs> We're gonna shape, optimize the shape of your nail. So before we go there, I want you to go on your knee, on this knee with your right hand. So let's raise your wrist. Straight here, good. What I want you to be able to do is scratch a mosquito bite. That's how you're gonna play, quite literally. So for that, you need a little, a little. There we go. Now scratch. You see how your tips get a little stiff when you engage the string? That gives you the control over your sound and the amount of projection you want in the sound. When you engage the string and then you follow through, you release that tension immediately. That's how you play. You know how you were playing before? No sound. You don't engage the string. I want you to learn how to do that. You're quite literally pushing the string downward and inward and letting it slide off the belly of the nail. That's what makes the tone. Okay? So let's fix that nail. We're going to optimize. This bevel is too square now, so the string is getting stuck. So we're going to make a nice smooth bevel. See that? Okay, and we have a nice short nail, which is great. See this, this square over here, we're going to get rid of it and make this a very smooth ramp. You see that? See how I'm actually firing from underneath at an angle? I'm going to duplicate that angle because that's where you're going to play. Okay. Don't worry, if you don't like these nails, they'll always grow back. So optimal length of the nail. Many people have different nails, so if you have a very fat pad on your finger, a very fleshy pad. Your nails can be a little longer in order for them to be able to engage the string. If, you, if your fingers are very skinny and they have very little pads, you're going to have to deal with shorter nails because they'll get in the way. Okay? Prepare a place. I hope yes. this is a stupid question. Not at all. You know, 
finger style people that play uh, steel guitar strings. A lot of times they play with artificial nails. Is that? Oh, well, that's a steel string. Yeah. Okay, but I mean, that strings, is, that, is that is that cricket and classical guitar? No, you don't want to play with with steel picks on your on your fingers and plastic. Huh? You wouldn't put no artificial nails on. No, no, no. Okay. I, no, I mean, that, you know, that harshness is really evident in it. In a different, whenever you're dealing with a different beast, I mean, steel string guitar is like another planet man, when it comes to sound. I mean, tone production is a whole different set of values there. On a, on a nylon string, you really have one set of values, a very defined set of values, and, and, and it can be optimized by the shape of the nail. I mean, what I'm trying to achieve here with most students is, is just a basic playing guide, a point of departure. So you can wear plastic nails if you have really weak nails, that's not a problem. It's a curse though because you have to deal with glue and, and cyanoacrylate the rest of your life. So it's better to solve that problem by developing really good, just natural nails. And then if they absolutely don't work for you, if you have some problem or a nutritional situation that you have to overcome, do it naturally. Because, you know, the stuff that you have to apply there does have a, 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 an effect, you know, as, as you grow older. And, and that stuff does get absorbed by your skin. And cyanoacrylate is poison. You know, it's, it's dissolved plastic, basically. <laughs> so if you're going to put fake nails on, really think hard about it. Why? Now, if you want to put removable picks, they don't work very well on a classical. They really get in the way. Those things are, are really more for banjo and electrical instruments. You know, where, where the value of the sound is more determined by the pickup that you use and by the wiring and the electronics rather than your touch. That's really a, a whole different you know, set of values.